Okay, go. Today on Uncut Angling, we're on the ice for the first time this year. I got my buddy Darcy Cox with me. We're looking for some first ice crappies. And not only that, in the afternoon, we're breaking ice, holding on to the last bit of the musky season here. <laughs> got him, got him. Whoa. <laughs> nice fatty. Cisco belly. This is Uncut Angling. Thanks for tuning in. This program is part entertainment and part education with some ridiculous. We are hot on YouTube and Facebook. Please join us on there for the latest. I'm Aaron Weeb, the host. We've got Jay Siemens doing a lot of the camera work and a fleet of other contributors working with us to give you the goods on whatever bites we're chasing. We don't script our shows and we don't stage hook sets. Strip our passion right down and it's exactly the same as yours. Unscripted, unstaged, uncut. This is Uncut Angling. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. I got my little cousins out, Jamie who's six, Robbie who's seven, and Tommy who's ten. Show them the basics of tip-up fishing. Okay, so here's how these get set up. So we kind of push that out and the flag slides up. This is what's going to tell us we have a fish from far away. This is way cooler than fishing with a rod, isn't it? You get to see the fish from really far away? Yeah! Yeah! Plus, if somebody does happen to take a nap, then the rods are still doing something. So what I use here is this little clip-on weight. So I clip it onto the hook, and when I drop it in. See how it's spinning out to the bottom? Yeah. Okay, so right there, it hit the bottom. Right there. Right there. I can feel it that's on the bottom. So I want my bait to be sitting off the bottom anywhere in this range. Not right on the bottom, but just sitting up above the bottom a little bit. So now that I have that marked, can you hold that with your hand? Yeah, okay. And now I'm gonna reel up to there. And now I know when I set that, that my bait's gonna be two feet off the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So we pull the clip back up, because that's not gonna catch any fish. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna catch the bait. Are we gonna catch a big fish? Well, we're going to catch a fish bigger than this. Yeah, I know. See, I hook it twice, and then that's how it's going to hang. Big meal down there. Look good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to go down and sink to the bottom, and then this is still set at that exact depth that we want it set at. And there we go. We have one in. Oh, yeah, because then that yeah. thing will move when the fish goes. In. See if the fish is pulling, and the flag will go up. Pretty cool, huh? So we're going to have like a trap line with all these tip-ups set up and we can just watch and when one goes up then we'll know we got to a fish on it. Perfect, right there, yeah. Jamie, we have all our lines in. We're fishing. Like all of them, even the black one. Uh, well no, I mean we've got as many as we're allowed to put in. What are you going to carry? You can carry the pail? Yeah. Okay. I can carry this. You can carry this? Yeah. Okay. Just carry that back. Yeah, just bring it with you. I can't. Oh, you can't. Okay, you want me to carry that one then? Okay, you take the scoop. That'll make more sense. Uh. Yeah! Let's, let's build it right here. Nice tree, but we need more wood first. Uh, how much sticks do we need? Ah, well, the more we have, the longer we'll have a fire. Otherwise, the fire will go out quick. Yeah. Yes, that is a flag. Tommy! So right, no, no, don't do anything. Because right now he's not there. Now watch, see how it's spinning a little bit? Now he's on there. We want him to be moving away with it. And then you grab the line and you just give it a little bit of a pull to dig those hooks in. And then don't let it wrap around your fingers. Let him run if he wants to run or else you pull it in hand over hand. This is awesome. Woo! I think he's gone. Ah, he was just there. But you... What, what, what? You yelled. I'm, oh, do you think he heard me? Okay, so what we'll try doing is I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick it up and you're gonna grab the line. I'm just gonna turn the line up to you and just pull up on the line real slow, but as soon as you feel anything, don't pull on it. Because we wanna wait for him to be pulling away, okay? So if you feel something, don't pull on it. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull hard. Can you feel anything? No? Just pull nice and easy. Just nice and easy. He could still be on there. Because see the line's going off the side, so he swam over that way and now he's probably swam back. Oh yeah, I feel something. Feel something? Okay, well, if he starts pulling. Is he pulling? Is he doing that? Okay, grab the line and give him a jerk. Give him a jerk. Yeah, okay, now keep reeling, keep reeling. Is he on there still? Oh, yeah. He's feeling jerky. 
What does Jorky mean? The fish is shaking down there. Yeah, keep lifting. Right. He's right here. here. Okay, let him, let him, let him, let him shake. It might be a monster. It's a walleye. No, it's a pike. Yeah! Wow, nice pike. Woohoo! Okay, watch the hooks. Watch the hooks. But you want to just lift them up? Awesome. Put both hands out. Put one hand here and put the other hand near the tail. Yep, right like that. Wow, that's a nice big pike. Yeah, a little bit of blood. Cool. Robbie, you see the size of that pike? That's awesome. There's a leech on it. Have you caught one that big before? No. No. Okay, let it lower him down nice and slowly and we're gonna get that hook out. I'll grab him here. Oh, okay. yeah. Look at there's a leech on him. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get his mouth open here. And you can see see the other hook down there? Oh yeah. And you're gonna try and get those out. The hooks are barbless, they'll come out nice and easy. Oh, good job. Fish has bleeding just a little bit, but we're gonna eat this one anyways, right? You guys wanna yes. fry a fish up? Yeah! A little bit of blood, no big deal. No okay. big deal. No big deal. You wanna kiss him? No! no. <laughs> 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 when you're looking for a fishing boat, you want a boat that's tough, stylish, and has incredible fishability. Whether you're fishing large bodies of water, small inland lakes, or rivers, Alumacraft builds a boat with you and your family in mind. Alumacraft, it's what fishing is all about. If it doesn't go through on one swing, I'm really not too worried. This is first ice. <laughs> right, man. Kind of nice to not have to carry an auger at this time of year. It is definitely very early in the season. There's three inches of really good ice, which is surprisingly strong. A lot of people that don't spend time on the ice don't have a clue about it. And if you're not completely comfortable, you gotta be comfortable with going through. And that we are for sure comfortable with. Darcy and I both fell through the ice before, both wearing ice picks. You can claw your way out of the ice. And when we came out here in the dark this morning, we got these ropes that we had just slip knotted around our waist. And we're all tied together, including the cameraman. To be extra safe, we were checking the ice every 10, 15 feet with the axe just to make sure there's no bad spots. And if we do fall through, it's not the end of the world, you know? Somebody's gonna claw their way out and there are risks to be taken, but not unnecessary risks and you gotta be prepared for them, so. For sure. We're gonna keep fishing for a little bit even though it's apparently pretty stupid to be doing. <laughs> Alrighty. Got a fish coming up here for sure. Wonder if me cutting a hole right beside you would spook him. He's already looked at this stuff. He's probably like, hell do I even want that for? Is he still there? Yeah. Okay, here we'll just I'll drop down the same hole. We'll see okay. if we get, it might get tangled, but keep on that side. Keep on that side of the hole. He's a looker. <laughs> oh, there's another oh, one. There's two. Oh, that one's coming hard. We're tag teaming these fish. I've got a bigger bait on. Darcy's he's got something smaller. Oh! There she is. Oh, first crappie of the year. Thanks, Darcy. Sure. Sure. You deserve a huge assist for that one. Ooh, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. At all. Thank Sweet. you, Darcy. Sweet. <laughs> nice. He took that big bait right in the top of his mouth And I think I there. might be able to get this other one going here still, too. That's what happens when you get a couple come on the screen. We had a chance at one there, and then as soon as the second one came on the screen, it was blasted past the other one. Yeah. Gonna drop this one back in. And there he goes. Sweet. Awesome. We worked through the whole morning bite with absolutely nothing and now we just kept cutting holes and a couple are showing up. This is a hole we already fished and I guess the fish are just getting active. Cool. I'll let you uh, have that hole. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks buddy. See what I can do with it. Here we go again. You got another one? Yeah. Another one coming up. How hot is he? Hot. Hot. hot, 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 hot. I'm stealing them if you don't get them. Got him, ah. got him. 
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, he's pulling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is probably oh, that yeah. other fish that was in. Feels nice. Is that oh, him? Oh, you beat me. I beat you by a little bit. <laughs> Darcy has a totally different presentation on here. He's got a couple little hair jigs, and that fish took more delicate a presentation. Look at this. Could he have right any more top. <laughs> a hair lip there? Cool. Excellent. Nice little crappie, second one of the morning, and stuff's starting to happen. The fish is all charged up. He should be good to go. There he Sweet. goes. Sweet, Gonzo. Let's see if you got another one there. Yep. Yes, right now, actually. Right off the bottom. Go, go, go. Darcy's got another fish marking, and. I cut another hole right beside him here. This way we can kind of tag team the fish with two different lures. You don't mind, right, Darcy? I don't, I guess. I got the heavier jig on, which is <laughs> kind of going to play in my advantage here. Oh, are you down there first? I got it. You can see that fish is the big red mark off the bottom here. Here she comes, here she She's comes. coming up for Darcy's jig maybe, maybe my jig. She's looking at you now, is I she? think. Yeah. Oh, this is ever exciting. Come on up, girl. the beauty of when you're fishing on three inches of ice like this. I just pop this hole in seconds and I can try and steal Darcy's fish if it was the middle of winter. I couldn't. There she's on here and a little bit higher actually. Couldn't yeah, be too higher, subtle higher. with drilling a hole through three feet of ice. What's happening? Darcy tell she's me about just it. Still, she's just sitting. She's checking us out. Okay there she just made a little bit up. A little bit up. Do you want to see here? No. There you go. Up up. Oh! <laughs> I put my rod down to see if your spin bra was okay. And I think she ate. Looks like another good fish. <laughs> yeah, wow. oh yeah. Yes, oh yeah. That's a big crappie. Very nice. Wow, oh here, yeah. Yes! Sweet. We love crappies <laughs> in the winter. Killer. We were already talking about going musky fishing this afternoon, and I think we still are. We're just going to get a couple more of these and get out of here. That is a wicked big crappie. Excellent. Uh, big body. Yes! Bye. Sweet. <laughs> that one took this big bait. Like I said, I stole that fish fair and square from Darcy. I got a Chomped blade on my bait and a nice big minnow. Let's go musky fishing. Uh, is that what we want to do? Feeling a little bit robbed, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ken Kansas. I'm a fisheries biologist at the province of Manitoba. Catch and release fishing has come a long, long way. It needs to go further. We need to realize there's so much more to it than just putting that fish back in the water. Let's face it, as anglers, it's all about the fight. I admit, I'm a chronic angler myself. I love the fight, but we have to keep our fight short. The longer the fight, the more stress on the fish. You get lactic acid buildup. Lactic acid is a byproduct of a muscle exertion. If it builds up too much, can be deadly for fish. I mean, it's got the word acid in it. Can't be good. Don't undergear on oversized fish. Use the proper gear for the proper fish or that fish will be in big time trouble. Hey, you really think you can hold a fish my size with that ultralight gear? I don't think so, man. I am gone. You can't hold me. And then, <sighs> oh man, because you use that light tackle, like, man, I'm exhausted. I can barely stand. I'm gonna barf. You may not be able to see it, but inside I'm dying. And you take a picture and release me, I'm gonna walk off and die. That's no good for Ken Kansas, man. Peace. So the goal is to release these fish right, properly. Not just to watch it swim away, but there's a realistic chance that that fish can be caught again one day. Here's my dad, Daryl, and his friends, Brian and Henry, with a 44-inch pike that Brian hauled through the ice last March. I sent the pictures to fisheries biologist Ken Kansas to see if he knew this fish. Well, he did. Fisheries does extensive population studies in the area, and this photo of the same fish was taken 10 months prior, about a mile away, in a creek where the fish had just finished its spring spawning. Cool. I got one into the day. Perfect. Crappies in the morning, and there's one of the usual muskies. Get more Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. 
floor down here. We were standing on three inches of ice fishing for crappies like an hour ago. Now we got the boat out and we're fishing for some muskies. Finally. Are we not? Uh, finally. This finally. is Darcy Cox of Tank Industries. He's the reason we're in Kenora. We've been begging him to take us out musky fishing and he said, I'll take you out musky fishing, but I want to go for crappie. So we <laughs> messed around with that. I'm kidding. Right -o. He just wants to fish for muskies. <laughs> oh, look at that. And that's what we're here for. Bait. Okay. A shallower bait on the outside will run the deep blue water down the middle so that it stays out of the way of everything. Okay. And then another shallower bait on the other side keeps everything away from each other. You got a big grandma on that side? I do, yeah. How, how far back do you put that? I'm going to go uh, 50 feet back. And what am I going to do with this perch bait? Uh, perch bait go 50 as well. Okay. I'll give you that and let you put up the rest. Okay. I'm gonna get this one in too. How far back did you say on this one? 20 feet back on that one. We got a cool deal going here. Something we're just playing with. We got three lines so we can experiment with this last one. We got a big marlin fly trailering behind there. That's like three feet behind there with, what did you tie that on with? Uh, seven strand. Seven strand? Yeah. Like 90 pound test? Yeah, 90, 90 pound figure eight knot. Nice and, and easy. This is gonna go back, how, how many feet? Uh, 20 feet back. 20 feet back. Yeah, it's a two to one bait, pretty much, approximately. Two so, to one meaning? Uh, 20 feet of line back, 10 feet down. 40 feet of line back, 20 feet down, wow, approximately. That's, that's really simple. Yeah, okay. very deep diving bait. And you're gonna have to hold it as well. You can't keep it in the holder. It's a very really? expensive bait and it uh, dives very deep. So I have you to can't drive lose the boat one. and hold this. You do, you do. Sorry, buddy. Uh, and then you get to take the fish off both those oh, yeah. rods. Is and that how this goes? Here. This is this is the okay. deal. I am I am officially not the guide today, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See how fast Darcy got the rod out of the holder there? He gave it just a little bit of slack and that bait corked up out of the snag. That's another reason he's got me holding this center rod. It's the deepest line. And I can quickly just lift my rod tip up. I lift the rod tip up six, seven feet, and that's going to eventually lift that bait up six, seven feet and keep it out of trouble. So uh, this pops out a little bit. I mean, yeah, this is pretty. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Just try to follow your 20 foot line, I guess, as best as possible to get a feel for it the first time around. Okay. Am I going to work both sides of it eventually? Yeah. Which I, I think is like a necessity. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. It's on the fly too, man. It's on the fly. It's on the Get fly. On the motor there. Funny things. I'm just trying to keep it off this other rod. Yeah, real, real, real hard. Then just bring him right in. Bring him right in. Bring him right in. Hard, hard, hard. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, it's not on the other one. <laughs> Unreal. You got her. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sorry. He, he must have come forward with it because it went slack or something. Okay, release tools. Just taking out your lures. So what we got her on. Blue water bait. Fire tiger. Just having an eye now. Wicked bait. Caught a lot of fish on them lately. Pull them right behind the boat. They're a good one that can stay out of the way of everything. Yeah, I only had like 22 feet on the counter. Yeah, there. 22 feet out. Rigged in tandem with the big streamer fly. So even, if, even though it didn't eat that streamer fly, you got kind of a school effect going on down there. And uh, did the trick on this one. It's not a monster, Darcy, but that's the first fish of the day. Awesome. Not a bad little All right, fish. let's see her. Oh yeah, nice fatty. Awesome. Cool. Add that one into the day. Perfect. Crappies in the morning, and there's one of maybe the only muskie. Maybe we'll get more today. We'll see. Almost it. didn't get her because of the net job. <laughs> Darcy salvaged that net job all right. We got her. <laughs> what, is that like a 42 inch fish or something, Darcy? Looks about that. <laughs> Did he go yeah. right hard or what? <laughs> Excellent, man. Yes. Good stuff. Good Kay. stuff. Let's do some more. Yep. Bigger, bigger. He's got another pull. Oh, push. yeah. Yeah, baby. On. Go. Big fat musky baby. <laughs> Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures.
really been doing some run and gun trolling here. Darcy's letting me drive the boat, but he's taking us to these spots and pointing with his lips, pointing with his hands, giving me the lay down on the lay of the land. Yeah, usually it's better for numbers to go spot to spot that you know is productive. You know, we've been hitting some of my best stuff back to back to back. Everything's within a minute drive of one another. It's better to just go to your spots and work them over and over again if you need to. I'd rather work this spot three or four times as yep. opposed to, you know, trolling like crazy down a shoreline to go to my next spot or going and hitting something that I don't know is as good. So in between there, it's like, there's some like nine feet. There's a little like five foot thing here, but this is the, we want to kind of stick to the outside edge. You can go straight and then out, or you can just kind of lobe off. Just try to get our lures in front of that hole narrows as best you can. Okay. Uh, I just got another pull. Oh push. yeah. Yeah, baby. On. Exactly the same thing with a push. I'm just trying to keep his head down. You want this other rod out of the way? Okay. Perfect. Because you've got a couple seconds here. See him coming up to the surface out there. Whoa, there she goes, man. Can't even keep it down. This fish has energy. Uh. That rug, man. Oh, oh yeah, she's here. wrapped up like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna just try scoop her, right? Yeah. Cause, cause uh, she spun all over the I place. I think we gotta go backwards on this one. Yeah. I'm still gonna try to get her by the head somewhat, but. I've got the motor in reverse because I don't want to drag this fish any more than I have to. No, it's good. Okay, yeah, don't it's worry about it. It's okay. Neutral. Wow, that fish is all over the place. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a big fish. That's not a bad one for sure. Big belly. Looking good. Okay, release tools. Let's get her unwrapped. Clipped over. All right. This fish isn't doing too well right now. She's really pink oh, already, so. She cheered up once she got the hook out of her. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. All right. You know what? That, those hooks are so bad. I'm just gonna get the fish. I won't worry about those hooks at all. All right. Help me out. There we go. Big fat musky baby. <laughs> all musky. Second one of the day. Big Cisco belly. <sighs> Same bait. Just gonna slide her back in the water immediately. Yep. I'm not really worried about a measurement here. Okay. There she goes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sweet. Awesome release. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. What's your biggest fish? 12 feet. 12 feet? Yep. Really? 